Now, one thing that comes to my mind, like you said, is when we think back at uh, President Kim's legacy, is his longtime, lifetime even, rivalry uh, with President Kim Dae-jun, who later became the president. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, tell us a bit more about their relationship. That's, it's a special one. That's right, Kanye. Well, since um, they are not really related, but they, they did share the same last name, Kim, which is a very common family name here in Korea. Well, individually, they were called by their own initials, YS and DJ, and both were major icons of pro-democracy movement here in Korea, and their lifelong competition shaped Korea's turbulent political landscape from military dictatorship to a democratic society. Well, as you can see from this table, they came from very different families family backgrounds, and they were known uh, for opposite characteristics. But a common factor is that they were both strong opponents to the authoritarian government. They went through various hardships under the authoritarian government. YS was put under house arrest for two years, while DJ was kidnapped in 1973 by the state spy agency. They also fought tooth and nail to win their presidencies. YS became president first in 1993, but DJ took control in the following term. Experts say their competition actually sped up the process of establishing a democratic government in Korea. Take a listen. It's highly likely that if one of the two men did not exist, their achievements would not have been the same. They were rivals, but they fought against a dictatorial government. The competition between them created a synergy that helped to advance democratization.